is the 13th of the 5th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Only have two stories for you today uh, off of ENE News. Mass release of floating radioactive particles in Metro St. Louis, possible from Inferno at landfill. Fire smells like dead bodies. 87 ton, 8,700 tons of nuclear waste buried nearby. An underground landfill fire near tons of nuclear waste raised serious health and safety concerns. So why isn't the gov government doing anything more to help? Uh, it's invisible to area residents buried deep beneath the ground in a North St. Louis County landfill. It smells like dead, dead bodies, it observed another local. About 1,200 feet south of the radioactive EPA site at the fire, at Bridgeton landfill spreads out like hot barbecue coals and no one knows for sure what happens when an underground inferno meets a pool of atomic waste but residents aren't eager to find out. At, the, at a March 15th press conference Peter Anderson, an economist who has studied landfills for over 20 years raised worst case scenario of a dirty bomb meaning a non-detonated mass release of floating radioactive particles in Metro St. Louis. Quote, now, to be clear, a dirty bomb is not a nuclear fission. It is not an atomic bomb. It is a weapon of mass destruction. It is not a weapon of mass destruction. Anderson assured meeting attendance at Bridgeton's uh, Mechanist Union Hall. But the dispersal of that radioactive material in the air that could reach, depending upon weather conditions, as far as 10 miles from the site could make it impossible to have an economic to have economic activity continue, as in the whole place will be uninhabitable. Outside of St. Louis, the other story, leaking strontium-90 is boiling the material around it at U.S. nuclear site, eating through the tank liners. Now this is at Hanford. Quick action to address a leak at AY-102 was important to give the nature of the high-level waste the tank containers, according to Bob Alvarez, a former nuclear policy advisor to President Clinton. A tank, uh, a tank AY-102 contains massive amounts of nuclear byproducts, strontium-90, more than any other tank at Hanford. Strontium-90 sinks to the bottom of the waste tanks and generates heat so, the, so hot that it boils the material around it. Quote, it's been known for over 50 years at Hanford that high heat loads at the bottom of the tanks cause them to leak and crack. It is not unknown, said Alvarez. The contents of AY-102 will eat through the secondary tank liner, the final barrier between the toxic, toxic sludge and the environment, faster than any other material at the site. And ongoing uh, leaks going on at Hanford it just continues. The truth comes out and comes out. This thing is ongoing. And I am almost sure in the Columbia River. So heads up. Um, that's about all I have for you today. Uh, enjoy while you can. Thanks a lot, everybody.